one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. The third annual Runaway from Drugs 5K is Saturday, May 11th. Thanks to East Liverpool City Hospital's donation, all East Liverpool students can register for free. Register by April 24th and you will get the race day t-shirt. All East Liverpool students who participate in the event will be registered to win a pair of Apple AirPods as well as other prizes. See Mr. Karpinski in room B110 to sign up. Anyone who has borrowed English Festival books from either Mrs. Harmon or Mrs. Dettilio should return them ASAP. Congratulations to Hannah Russell for winning money and prizes by earning second place in the writing games competition yesterday at the Youngstown State University English Festival. Attention students who still need to take the AccuPlacer test for CCP classes next year. The makeup AccuPlacer will be given on Thursday, April 18th at 9.15 a.m. in Computer Lab A238. Would Stephen Dorsey, Isabel Hoyt, Cole Daly, Alexis Danley, Tyler Kinman, Anthony DeMarco, and Angelica Rogers please report to Mrs. Pippo at this time. Are you a senior who is still unsure of your plans for after graduation? Stop in and see Mrs. Pippo for some information that may help you. <coughs> Attention junior high students. The end of your trip to Kennywood is scheduled for May 24th. If you plan on attending, make sure that all candy money and fees are paid by Wednesday, April 24th, when final arrangements will be made. No late additions will be added. The current list is up in the hall. Any junior high student who would like to submit a t-shirt design for the Kennywood trip this year should pick up a sheet in room A302 and return it before the April 25th deadline. Five designs will be chosen to be voted on by students on April 29th. The winner will be announced on May 1st. Tomorrow, April 12th, there will be a special assembly for all juniors and seniors. Um, Students will be called to the auditorium at 9 o'clock. Attention NHS and NTHS members and inductees. Practice for inductions has been rescheduled for Thursday, April 24th at 9.45. Remember, you must attend practice. If you have any questions, please see Mrs. Kayaza immediately. The Potter Olympics are scheduled for Friday, May 17th in the Potter Fieldhouse. The sign-up for events will be with the class coaches. The seniors will be coached by Ms. Creator, juniors by Mrs. Short, sophomores by Mr. Atkins, and freshmen by Mrs. Dettilio. There will be shirts available for the Olympics with each class having their own color. The shirts will cost $7 and can be ordered from your class coach or Mrs. Voorhees in room A205. Points will be awarded for the classes based on shirt sales. All shirt orders must be in by April 26th. ELHS Thespian Troop number 319 will proudly unveil its upcoming spring musical, The Wizard of Oz, April 25th, 26th, and 27th at 7 o'clock in the Potter Playhouse. Tickets are $6 for adults, $4 for students, and $2 for senior citizens. We look forward to seeing you over the rainbow. Seniors, have you committed to a college, university, trade school, apprenticeship, or military branch? Stop in Mrs. Pippa's office and report your confirmed commitment and any outside awards or scholarships that you've been awarded to date. Attention all EL students. The Potter Pals closet is still available for anyone who needs personal hygiene supplies. There's after-school weightlifting with Mr. Atkins held on Mondays and Wednesdays. (laughs) 
If there's anyone who would like to play volleyball this coming season, please meet with Ms. Kiger on Friday at 745 in the Student Center. Prom shirts are available for pickup during lunches in the field house concession stand. You must have your emergency medical form in to pick up your shirt. Happy birthday to Sonny Williams, Anaya Kimbrot, and Kylie Mills. Today, girls varsity softball is away against Southern Local. Coed Varsity Track is home against Southern and Big Red. And Boys Varsity Baseball is home. Thank you and have a wonderful day. Good morning, East Liverpool. I'm your host, Makai Anderson. I'm here with Trenton Davis, Dawson Wiley, hey. James Newland. Uh, why don't one of you guys take it away with announcements? All right. So today... For the weather, got a high of 70 and a low of 60. It's partly cloudy tomorrow. It's going to be high of 72 and a low of 51. And it's supposed to thunderstorm, so. Mm, that's always bad. That is scary. That is scary. Lunch day, chicken fajita wrap. <laughs> Undefeated. <laughs> Undefeated. <laughs> chicken fajita wrap. Sounds pretty good. It does. Vegeta. Chicken Vegeta <laughs> with cheese. Vegeta's like the second best anime character of all time. What'd you can say? you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, I can't hear myself. Wait, get a little closer. Hello. I'm not back. Yeah, well that's test. Test. Actually, wait, I may not be able to hear you. I can't hear myself. Hold on. Are we good? Are, are we good? I mean, there you uh, go. Uh, yeah, there just there pick up. yeah, maybe a little there bit closer to the mic. Lift it up a little bit, man. Hey, yeah, okay, there we go. I yeah. can hear myself a little bit better now. All right. All right, let's go. Take it off, man. All right, community huh? cleanup on April 20th, getting together to help the community. And on Friday, May 17th, Potter Olympics, buy a shirt for $7. I, uh, go to your class officer, though. Like, um, I think Miss Short is junior. Junior. Um, Mrs. Dettilio is soft, freshman. freshman, and then who's sophomores? Cause sophomores are Atkins, Atkins. and seniors are, are Creator. Creator, yeah. okay. Here to hear first, folks. Pick up a shirt for $7. All right. Uh, the Potter Pouch Closet is still available for anyone who needs personal hygiene supplies. Please see your counselor, any teacher, or administration for products. Yep. Beginning today after school, weightlifting with Ms. Radkins will now be held on Mondays and Wednesdays. Yep. Better get them gains and get... Swole. The Swole. upcoming spring musical <laughs> Wizard of Oz will be on twenty the twenty fifth of twenty sixth. Um uh, I hold on. Don't know what just the monitor went off. There's well, uh monitor malfunctions. Either way, <laughs> it'll be on April twenty fifth. Um on se at seven PM. I think tickets are being sold at I can't remember now. Yeah, they're sold at the door. Uh, yeah. The musical is the 25th, 26th, 27th at the Field House. If you want tickets, I have no clue what price uh, they are. But they, can't be they will be sold there. Yeah. Affordable. Yeah, I'd assume probably okay, here, like here we have $6 for adults, $4 for students, and $2 for senior citizens. 7 p.m. at the Potter Playhouse. Yeah. The Playhouse doesn't sound like the right thing to call that. Yeah. I, I think it's just called a theater, but it's whatever. It's whatever. <laughs> We're gonna let this slide. All right. Um. Next announcement. Is there? Is there any more? That is uh, all. That's, that's, that's all. That's the general that's just announcement. Just talk. Let's talk. Okay. We're gonna talk about. Would you rather? Let's go. Would you rather? Look yeah. up some. Would you rather? Yeah. We'll make up some on the fly. So. this. And uh, make sure you go to like the third page because we've done so many throughout the year that I'm sure we're gonna have duplicate mm -hmm. questions. So let's make these interesting. Maybe make it a certain topic. The would hardest. You would you rather questions on the internet? Cap. The hardest cap. I smell cap. I do smell. I do smell straight cap. Yeah. <laughs> uh, these are <laughs> this is, these are a little bit not safe for work. Are they, are they hard? No. <laughs> <laughs> Would you rather have a dog with a cat's personality or a cat with dog's personality? A cat with a dog's person. That's all I've ever wanted in life. Was yeah. a cat with a dog's person because a cat can clean up after itself, but it's annoying. Because they don't listen to you. But if they listen to you like a dog, I'd take a cat all day. 
Bro, that'd be fire. I need that That's in my so life. so fire because dogs, like, they already do everything. You just need to clean up after them. Yeah. I, I, They're pretty much like a Roomba. Yeah. They're like, don't eat anything off the floor. They'll call it. It's whatever. <laughs> Honestly, they don't care. They're they dogs. They They'll don't. sleep all day. They'll a eat dog all day. with a cat personality would be kind of scary, to be that honest. Be. That big dog just creeping around. <laughs> Sneaking around <laughs> and stuff. Licking itself real quick. Cats like the jump as well, so you'd probably lose a lot of oh, belongings. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's yeah. Uh. Uh-uh. A dog, dog cat. cat or a cat dog. Huh. I'd probably pick the cat dog. I'd take the dog cat. Oh. Would you rather look ten years older from your neck up or the neck down? Tough one, right? Uh, I'd say neck, neck down. Neck down. Neck down. Neck down. Neck down. Ten years oh, older. Oh, neck, neck down. I think I'd have to agree. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like having like a a non ten year ten years older body with a ten with the older face would be weird. <laughs> like I'd rather ha- I'd rather like hey, what, if like, what if I'm like what if I'm what if I'm like ripped in ten years, bro? Like ten years from now, I'm just swole and then I got this baby face. Yeah, I'd I'd much rather be swole with a baby face than. Built like this with an old face. True, true. A small face, but no body. Oh, that'd be horrible, bro. Uh, I couldn't do it. Oh, I feel like I know where this question's from. This sounds like a a stupid meme. This one? Sounds like a stupid meme. (laughs) Would you rather have a Lamborghini in your garage or a bookcase with 9,000 books and infinite knowledge? (laughs) (laughs) Knowledge. Both. Knowledge. Knowledge. I'll take the the Lamb with knowledge. Oh, it said it said I had infinite knowledge. Yeah. yeah, and infinite knowledge. Yes. Yo, you know what I would do? Mm-hmm. I would just sell my knowledge to the government. I'd be like, yeah, Botswana is planning on bombing you guys. Pay me like three thousand dollars. Give me I all your that. money. Yo, so I, what if they don't believe you? Well, they're, they're beat because Botswana is getting bombed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you know. Okay. So on Netflix, they have this um. This is completely unrelated, but for some reason, you mentioning bombing, I thought of Animal Planet. So <laughs> I don't know. Why. So, no, but let me explain. Let me explain. Okay, so Hiroshima. I, it was, it's called like Our Planet on Netflix. If you haven't watched it, I recommend you watching it. Not sponsored, but <laughs> I have to clear that. Let's get sponsored. But yeah, we should. But the thing is, it's like at first it started off in the water, like explaining how the ecosystem of the water works, right? Yep. And so you know how mackerel are just stupid fish. They just swim in schools. They don't know any better than swim. Yeah. All right. <laughs> dolphins. The dolphins are the are the leaders in this plan. Okay. Okay. They start circling. They start like circling the macro and just like pushing it towards the surface. And you're like, all right, that's cool. They're just gonna get them because they can't go anywhere out of the surface, right? Right. Wrong. They're teaming with the birds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's horrible. They're teaming with the birds. <laughs> so we got like kamikaze birds just like diving six feet in the water, just like attacking. Have you ever seen videos of them doing that? Yes. No. They they Low. like dive right into the water they and they come out. And they I don't like, know how fish. a wet bird flies. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like. If ducks could kamikaze, <laughs> they do exactly that. And then, like, the dolphin's like, all right, cool. The bird's getting it from the top. We'll just go from the bottom. And the mackerel like, what's going on, man? What's going on? I hate to be a mackerel in that situation. Which one would you rather, like, if you were a, just, like, a school of fish, and, like, you were being pushed under for fish, some dolphins. I would want to be a shark. I don't know. I don't know if I'd rather be picked up by the birds or eaten by the <laughs> dolphins. I don't know which one is worse. I, I feel like I'd be picked up by the birds because, like, you'd, like, suffocate. Cause but, but before yeah. you die, you'd be flying, bro. That'd be fire. <laughs> that'd be fire. <laughs> like, at least in the dolphin. Like, you're hanging out my dumb the <laughs> mouth. <laughs> my, dumb, <laughs> my dumb fish brain can't process flying, but it's just kind of cool. It's just kind of cool. I'm not going to lie. James, what do you got? Would you, would you rather be attacked by birds or the, uh, the dolphin? It would depend. It, the dolphin would kill you faster, really. Yeah, the probably. Dolphin. Yeah, but it would definitely be more painful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The dolphin, well, dolphin don't have teeth, do they? Yeah, yeah they, they do. do. It's yeah. the worst. <laughs> Dolphins are dangerous, by the way. Yeah. Very dangerous. Dude, I'd swim with a dolphin. That'd be like the most majestic moment of your life. <laughs> you bonk him on his head and he gets mad and calls his friends and they jump you. They dolphin jump. You ever been dolphin jumped? <laughs> you no. Dolphin you want to be dolphin jumped? <laughs> no. All right. I'm pretty sure those dolphin jump survivors would never want to speak of that. Right. 
Would you rather have seven fingers on each hand or seven toes on each foot? <laughs> seven <laughs> fingers, bro. Bro, imagine the slap. <laughs> imagine slapping somebody with a seven a seven finger hand. Not, not you're that, dying. The grip strength and like the ability to do more things in video games. Could you imagine that, bro? I would only need one hand to play Dude, anything. Dude, you're gonna have every finger on every button. Yeah, but if you had those many fingers on her, this Spanish guy would show up all the time and say, Hello, my name is Inigo Montoya. <laughs> <laughs> Prepare to die. Prepare to die. You killed my father. <laughs> what was that? That is a reference to a movie. I forget what it is, but I know the Princess line. Bride. Princess Bride. Princess it's a very Bride. old movie with Andre the Giant in it. I'd recommend it. Antonio I've Bandera. Very fire. I haven't watched it in a minute. I've heard that uh, he was in Princess Bride. I just forgot that it was even a movie. Actually, I might go home and watch that tonight because I did forget about that. All right. I, w- I told myself I was going to do that yesterday because I made the same joke yesterday. Not the same joke, but mm, pretty much. That, that's just the joke. All right. All right. Would you rather rule the world or live in a world with absolutely no problems at all? Mm. That's a good Five one. seconds on the clock, Mr. Anderson. Uh, 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 I'd rather rule the world. Rule the world? Yeah, I'd rule the world. <laughs> I'd rather have my own problems I use than no you. problems. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'd have a problem with the fact that I'm not ruling a world with no problems. I feel yeah. like if the world was to be under no problems, I'd be slightly salty that it wasn't under my rule. <laughs> I'd be slightly salty. <laughs> then slightly I'd, salted. So slightly could, salted. And then there'd be problems. So therefore, it's an oxymoron. So if you rule You're the world, wrong. there could there's problems, but honestly, you could probably fix that. Or you could just, you know. I'd probably be able to rule it better than anyone. You think? think? Yeah. Cap. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I think James has something to say over here. <laughs> If there's He's a problem, you can sleep all day. Cap, yeah, you're right. You're all right. right. All right, fair enough, fair enough. Um, let's get like two more in. All right, we'll throw in two more. Oh man, that's that's depressing. That's depressing. <laughs> <laughs> Hit me. All right. Uh, would you rather eat your dead friend or kill your dog and eat it when you are marooned on a lonely island? <laughs> Okay, at oh, least with dark. my at least with my dog, it's out of necessity. But he said, "Kill or eat your dead friend." Both. Eat what? <laughs> I have to eat my dead friend. Wait, you eat your dead friend. You so, don't kill your dead friend. He's but, just he's but already he, dead. But you do eat him. That's still cannibalism. Do, am yeah, I on that? Am I on an island, or is it just like yeah. without the island? So both of them on are on the island. island. You're on the island, and you just have to eat them. There's no and ifs or buts. So I have to pick which one to which one to eat. Do I have to kill my dog? Yes, like you have to kill your dog. Lost. Oh, I'm yeah, I'm mm, actually. Mm. This feels like an episode of Lost. Are so my friend's sure? already dead. He's already dead. Oh, this that's, is a okay. This is a tough question. I don't know. Not to interrupt here. If yeah. you were Vietnamese, the t- choice would be obvious. They do eat dog meat. Yeah, you're right. You're yeah. right. They do have a uh, dog meat. Um, like I think days it's in China. It's like a very big celebration. Sure. The issue here Pretty sure it's me. isn't what I'm eating. It's the the emotional weight. Cause I yeah. think I think it, I don't I, I don't want to kill I'd, my dog. Yeah, I'd be fine with eating human. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. I'd, if, I I had to, I had to, I if I had to, I'd eat human. Okay. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, but I think the fact, like, man, I'm eating my dog, but, or, like, man, I'm eating my friend, and then you have to kill your dog, too. I think I'm going to go with uh, eating eating your friend. All I right, think yeah, I'd rather yeah, do that. I think it's about time we wrap it up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, that was enough. I think, uh, hopefully, everyone's enjoying this morning show. I am. Yep. Sure ever, all of you yeah. are enjoying it. I hope you're having a lovely day. It's here. It's going to be pretty warm out. Not too warm, though. Yeah. Uh, Drink not, water, though. Yes. Stay Stay hydrated. Hydration, man. Hydration. All right. Doses. Doses.